been a little over two months since deadly flooding in Humphreys County. There's still a lot more to clean up. News Channel 5 Cena Sleem split spent the day in Waverly where volunteers say it will take years for the town to look like what it once was. In a matter of minutes, hundreds of lives were drastically changed. The lady lived here with her disabled husband and they barely escaped the storm. Uh, her van got washed away as they were trying to get out of here. It came that quickly. Two months later, there are memories of that day everywhere. These people are just so traumatized. So when they see this, it just reminds them of everything they've been through and everything they've lost. Including reminders of the 20 lives lost during the Humphreys County flood. It's really interesting to see like firemen when it's raining and I'm a veteran and you see that sort of PTSD look that they have when the rain comes and you're just like, how do you live afraid of the rain? But that's what's happened to Waverly. Like this community is traumatized by the weather. Tony Vanella is part of the organization and Spiritus. Easily some of it was up that eye to that branch there. He's been working with a few volunteers six days a week to clean up Waverly. It's not perfect, but like if you saw this before. But he says there's only so much they can do if they don't have enough hands. There's still so much debris throughout Waverly and it's why they need more volunteers to help with cleanup. These people deserve the help. Vanella knows the road ahead is long. We desperately need assistance in Waverly. But the load could be lighter with more volunteers. And just seeing how much they're doing and how much they're putting into it and how much they care and like just seeing how stressed out they are and how they just need other people to help them. In Waverly, Cena Sleem. Please come down here. News Channel 5. We have details on our website, newschannel5.com, for how you can help and volunteer.